What do we have here today? The Nanocure. It's the new product from Sprint Tray. We're going to unbox it and also go through the features and talk about it. Let's start. So review Quick Start Guide before use. Where is the Quick Start Guide? The first thing you see, remove this. Then you're going to get to the documentation. So welcome card talks about everything we offer in terms of post sales support and also educational programs. You're going to find the Nanocure Quick Start Guide. It's very simple, very easy to figure out. Just the front and back. We're going to talk about it. There is a supplemental safety sheet. This talks about just safety, basic safety information while using Nanocure. You get one of these cool stickers. Before we go into the machine itself, you're gonna find the curing tray glass sitting right above. Don't forget this. The actual curing glass is sitting right inside of this, inside this plastic bag. So Nanocure is sitting in a bag and you just have to remove it like that from the packaging. There you go, Sprint Tray Nanocure. There's the accessory box. This is where you can find the power brick and USB cable and any other accessories that we ship with it. Here's the power brick, as well as the power cord, USB-C. You won't need this. Most of the updates are over the air, but if you ever need it, don't forget it. It's sitting right here. Comes with an adapter for USB-A to USB-C as well. Okay, so what we have here is Sprint Tray Nano Cure, the curing tray glass, as well as the quick start guide. You really want to place this unit where the ventilation is nice and there's enough air around it. You don't want to put it in a cramped space. The curing systems work with heat and, and LEDs. Takes air from behind and uses that to cool and heat and then exhausts it from here. So always make sure there's enough clearance on the back and also clearance here. Do not ever block this area. Also make sure you never put it directly under sunlight or anything that just catches sunlight too much because it, it, it already warms up. You don't want to add to that. So just like Procure, Procure 2 that you've seen before, comes with a handle and a front loading tray. And the tray glass is just going to sit right inside of this. Take this off. This comes off, so it's not glued to the system. So if you need to ever clean this, you can easily just take it out and clean it and put it back in place. Put it right in there. Awesome, done. So if you ever need to take it out, just lift it from bottom and then comes out. You need to clean this frequently. Once it starts getting dirty, the LED that is sitting on the bottom that is supposed to penetrate through the glass is just gonna get covered. So it's not gonna cure as well. Make sure you clean this piece often. Now, if you look at the top of the system, that's where you find the control and the touch screen. So everything's controlled from this touch screen and you receive updates from here, you receive all the new cure times and everything, just control from this touch screen. On the back of the unit, you have all the IO and the fan. Power, which talks to the power brick that we have. Ethernet, if you prefer to use ethernet or wired connection over wireless, just plug in the ethernet cord into that. USB-C, again, you won't need it as much, but it's there for safety. If anything happens, customer support can help you and fix anything through that port. And also the power button right here. All right, let's power this up. So the system is powered on, it's booting up. Go to account.sprintrate.com, create your account. This will help you connect your machine to your cloud account, which then helps you track and monitor the machine as well as the fact that it starts receiving all the updates through that. We installed the curing tray already. Just make sure that your parts are, in terms of height, they're limited to three inches. If you have a bigger part, you may need the bigger curing machine. Most dental parts are gonna fit right into this. This, this machine can take up to four full arch size models, which is more than enough for most practices. Let's get going. Let's start using the Nanocure. The first thing you see on the screen is, starts with Sprint Train Materials and it has other brands as well. And as you go through that, you also find workflows, which as of now, we have a custom workflow. You can build your own, as well as the conventional denture workflow, which allows you to go through the process of curing the base and then looting it back to the teeth and then curing them together. Now let's go through just a basic practice of looking for some materials. You can see the search button is at the corner of the screen. You can search for any material you want. Let's type flex and see what we get. Spring Train Niger Flex. All you need to do is pick that. It says cure job takes about three minutes. That's very fast. In Procure, curing a Niger takes about seven to eight minutes. 
However, in NanoCure, that's reduced to three minutes, 14 seconds, super fast. And all you need to do from here, just pre press start. It will go through a very short cycle of preheating, warming up the chamber. One of the crucial aspects of using NanoCure or any Sprinter product is making sure it's always up to date, has the latest software, and also has the, the most accurate and most recent library for materials. Now, NanoCure is no exception. So you always have to make sure it's connected to internet, either wired or wireless, and make sure the software is up to date. We are connected to internet. The very first thing to do after connecting to internet is making sure the software is updated. So you go through the settings, find the software, software tab, checking for updates. The very first thing it does is checking for updates automatically. Make sure automatic updates are always on. Software version is on one. We need to probably update this. If you value throughput and office space, then this is your best friend because it's faster. It's also a lot smaller, about three times faster than Procure 2, but a quarter size of Procure 2. This is one of the most powerful, easy to use machines on the planet to do post-curing with. 